Hello, welcome, and thanks for joining us live on Projan Media TV, wherever you are and where you're tuning in from. We are very grateful, but kindly consider subscribing and turning on the notification button for more of these updates. Biloga Lumbuye is in a very big trouble over false Museven death announcement, and right now he is wanted by the Uganda police. Once again, thanks for joining us, but let's take a quick look into some of these details. Controversial blogger Fred Kajumbi Lumbuye is in trouble after Uganda police force revealed it could soon work with international police to extradite him to Kampala to face charges related to circulation of fake news regarding President Yoel Kagutam Seven Tibuhaburu's false death. Weeks ago, social media posts claimed M7 was either critically ill and had reportedly been flown to German with breathing complications occasioned by COVID-19 or dead. But the president would later appear in public looking health. Days later, he ordered security agencies to crack down on social media abuse, calling those who had declared him dead idiots who waste people's time. A few days later, police arrested a member of Robert Chagulani, also known as Bobby Wine's National Unit Platform Party, for allegedly originating and sharing a WhatsApp message claiming Museven was dead. So police arrested Jamiru Sechonda, 20, uh, 22 years of age, from Luero district, and following Museven's orders and days after Sekondwa's arrest, Charles Mansio Twine, the spokesperson of Uganda Police Criminal Investigations Directorate, revealed a number of bloggers could soon be arrested over the Museven death announcement narrative. Lumbuye is wanted by the police because he has reportedly made it a habit to use social media to make claims that he has exclusive information to prove that Museven opponents have been poisoned. Also, some of the people Lumbuye claimed had died, such as the Kabaka of Buganda, Ronald Bimwenda Mutevi, and President Museven are still alive. Labeling Lumbuye's social media posts, useless and unfound information twin saw police would soon have the controversial blogger in their hands. So Lumbia is said to be based in Turkey, but Twine insists police has mechanisms to arrest him, and it's a matter of time all those punks will be arrested and brought here to face prosecutions, as the police said in the weekend. How do you announce death of someone without evidence that they have died? And responsibility to announce someone dead lies in the hands of the family members or government if the deceased was its officials. That's what the police said. And President Museven has suggested that social media users hiding in Europe and the US be denounced and suspects could face cyber harassment and offensive communication charges. Therefore, His Excellency Welka Gutam Seven has insisted that the Ugandan police is going to work with the international police, that is the Interpol, to extradite people who are using social media from Europe, and they will be facing and charging them with the file case of cyber harassment. Well, that is it for now. Right now, Lumbuye is wanted by the Uganda police, Due to the uh, due to the false seven death announcement, they claim that he was the one behind it. Well, that is it for now. Thanks for watching Projan Media TV, and we'll keep on updating with more of this. Uh, kindly do one thing: subscribe and turn the notification button. All these updates.